welcome back to my channel and today's video will be talking about the a b c d e assessment and um, this is the basic thing you have to the airway breathing circulation disability exposure which is the a b c d e approach is a systematic approach to immediate assessments and um, continuous assessments of critically ill or injured patients and the approach is applicable in all clinical settings and it can be used in no clinical setting also to assess a which stands for year we includes checking the year we you check for the patency you check um, the breath sound check for strider or wheeze check for year we obstruction is the patient using accessory muscles and um, the treatment you do in this situation is a, a airway maneuver which include the head tilt and chain lifts and um, there are also the airway accessories you can use includes oropharyngeal airway endotracheal tube laryngeal, laryngeal mask and so on b which is breathing the breathing you have to assess patient's respiratory rates Assess for the oxygen saturation. The normal oxygen saturation should be between 94 to 98% unless the patient is having COPD, which can be 88 to 92%. Also, you check for decreased breath sound. Check if the, uh, if the, chest, will, if the chest is moving appropriately. Check do chest wall, check for chest wall movement, do your chest percussion, assess for lung auscultation, also check the um, saturation using a pulse oximeter. The treatments that can be done for a breathing at this point is make sure the patient is com comfortable, you can provide rescue breaths, give inhaled medication, you can um, give back valve mask ventilation and also C, which is circulation. Now you're assessing the patient's blood pressure. You assess the patient pulse rate. You assess for the capillary refill time. You also assess for the color, general color of the patient. At this point, in circulation, which is C, you also assess for temperature, assess for the urine output. Is the patient making adequate urine at least 25 to 30 mils per kg of urine per hour? should be made so assess for blood pressure check for the systolic at least the systolic blood pressure should be between 100 to 140 millimeter of mercury also you can check for the electrocardiogram which is the ecg you monitor ecg here and um, the treatment for circulation if your patient is having circulation issue pro provide iv fluids stop bleeding elevate the legs Ensure there is intravenous access and also blood transfusion if the patient is bleeding. D, D is for disability. And at this point, we are checking for the level of consciousness of the patient. And we are going to be using an AFPO. AFPO is, um, it stands for A for alerts, V for voice, P for pain and you for unresponsive. In the half pool, you have to know is, is this patient alert, check it, is the patient awake, the voice, is, does the patient respond to verbal stimulation, P, which is um, pain, does the patient respond to pain, U, which is unresponsive, check, the, is the patient responding to you, is it unresponsive, if not, now you know the patient, you'll be able to score the patient at that point. Now, the other thing you check for in disability is um, the blood glucose. You have to check for the patient's random blood glucose, check if the patient is hypoglycemic or hyperglycemic or unrecordable bl blood glucose. Also, you have to check for the popularis, um, check for the glaucoma scale, check, check for the eye opening, best verbal response, best motor response. The normal glaucoma scale should be 15 over 15. So check, also check for the pupil size. Are the pupils reactive to, to light? Check both pupils and check for the size of the pupils to know if it, is it fixed, is it reactive? Check for sedation. Is this patient sedated? Is the patient having pain? Is the um, patient in severe distress or the, and the treatment for this 
disability includes when you've treated the airway breathing and circulation problems you have to place the patient in a recovery position if the patient is hypoglycemic e now e is every exposure and the exposure you have to expose this patient now you've been doing you've been assessing the patient a b c d but you've not really checked what is going on you have to check for the um skin check for bleeding sites you have to expose the entire body check for skin rash or changes check for any signs of trauma or bleeds check for risk for pressure ulcer also check the patient's pressure point if it's fine check um, everything you could check check the feet is it cold is it um cold to touch is the patient aparesic and um and that's the end of the abcd assessment and that's the end of the simple abcd nursing assessments this is what every nurse should know